doing, Tommy? I'm Ryan. And welcome back to What's In My PC. But today, it's not my PC. It's, it's... my PC this time. Yeah, and so, uh, Rod brought me a bunch of parts. <laughs> so, what did you bring me? So, I, this Black Friday, I decided to save up um, because my old computer is like four or five years old. It was like just factory built. There's nothing super fancy in it. And quite frankly, the render times are horrendous on it. So, this Black Friday, I saved up my money and I went out and bought a whole bunch of these parts um, for mainly for work, but also for games too. So, what I got to start off is for the case itself, I have a Corsair 300R. It's a mid tower. I didn't go with the full tower just because. I didn't really feel like I needed it and I didn't have a place to put it. So I went with the mid tower. Um, I got pretty good recommendations from this or from other friends uh, for this tower right here. Um, besides that, I went with a Corsair power supply as well. I got the RM850X. Um, I was originally planning on going with a 750, but uh, a friend had suggested because I'm going to be getting one of these GTX 980 video cards that I might want something with a little bit more power. Mm -hmm. um, that brings us to the video card that to Tommy has so graciously donated. Yeah! Um, this one right here is the NVIDIA GeForce 980X, right? G GTX. GTX 980. So um, for this one, that'll really help with a lot of the buffering, I guess, for Adobe Premiere when I'm actually when I'm actually trying to edit stuff because right now that's really bad. Mm -hmm. um, and then let's see what else do I have here um, for the hard drive. I got a Western Digital two terabyte uh, black series hard drive. That's going to be mostly for my long term storage, just actually to actually like store files and stuff. Because for everything that I'm planning on installing, I'm going to go with the I'm going to put it on the SSD. Cool. Um, why, why, why don't you plan to get two SSDs instead of like... Um, for the price right now, I couldn't really justify getting two of them. Mm -hmm. um, they, the 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD was on sale at Newegg, so I decided to pick that one up. Um, I figured 500 gig should be enough to put all of my main programs on there, and realistically, I figured I'd fill up two terabytes pretty quickly. So um, that's why I got just a normal hard drive, because it was you know a little bit more economical for this particular build. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see. So besides that, um, I also got Corsair Vengeance RAM. I got 32 gigs of that, um, so that should help the whole process as well. Uh, let's see what else did I get. I got a Asus Wi-Fi adapter. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, the cooling system. I have one of the Corsair H80Is. Uh, I got this. This is my first uh, computer that's gonna have a water cooler, so that'll be something new for me. So I'm really excited about that. Hybrids. Uh, yeah. And then let's see, for the motherboard, I went with the Gigabyte um, Gaming 7 motherboard. I was originally gonna go with Asus, uh, but the Asus board that I wanted at the time was out of stock, so I heard good things about Gigabyte and there was a lot of sales going on, so I figured I'd pick one up and try it out. Uh, let's see, what else do I got here? Asus DVD drive. What did you not, see anymore? Not oh, a lot. DVD? Of, it's DVD drive, yeah. Okay, so this is more useful too, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I not a lot of people use them anymore, but I figured, while I'm assembling all this, it's only 20 bucks, might as well assemble it. Um, I also, what I'm really excited about is I picked up one of these, um, the media dashboard. I forget the company's name off the top of my head, but that one's got a card reader and some extra USB 3.0 ports on the front. So that'll really help me out when offloading footage mm -hmm. from memory cards and stuff like that. And you know, that this one wasn't too expensive either. Um, and then Corsair case fans, self-explanatory. And then uh, for, the, for the processor, I went with the Intel i7 uh, Devil's Canyon, right? Yes. Yeah, Devil's Canyon processor. This is the 4790K. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, I think it's Harsh, Harshwell? Harsh, Haswell. Har Haswell. It's Haswell. Haswell. Yeah. It's Haswell. 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 I say Harshwell. Yeah, close yeah. enough. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you you have a bunch of other computers. Yes, in the we house, do. Right? So I think the other three computers in this room runs on the 4790K. Uh, my computer, Brandon's computer, and Ken's computer over here. We all almost have the same build, except the only difference is probably, probably our motherboard and our graphics cards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was a like, uh, I know for all you guys that are like, oh, you didn't go with the most recent Skylake processors. I saw them and the prices were not too much more expensive, like for the actual process. Yeah, I think yeah. it was like between three and four hundred dollars for those. Mm -hmm. But the biggest problem was that I need to go to DDR4 RAM and then I need to change the, uh, the actual motherboard as well. So I decided for this particular build, um, this processor was, processor was on sale, so I picked mm -hmm. this one up. And so we'll, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine for what I'm using it for right now. And in the future, once you know DDR4 prices have gone down, I might switch everything out, but we'll see, we'll see. New builds, all the time. <laughs> Always Never ending. ending. Never ending, guys. Are spending so much money on computers. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to building computers. Like most of these uh, parts and stuff are coming from suggestions from Tommy or from some of my other friends. So that's why I brought it here so that Tommy can help me out. Assembling. Woo! So 
Uh, let's get to it. Yeah, let's get started. Awesome. Excited. What we're gonna do first is take the motherboard out of the box and we're gonna build the computer outside of the case first. So just in case you come across problems, we don't have to take everything out of the case again and uh, build it from scratch. So um, yeah, we're just gonna unbox everything, get the little you know power supply out and leave it there. And now the uh, you know RAM memory cards and now the Wi-Fi and the, the processor. Bam. Don't be too crazy and make sure you have a good power supply and power, you know, surge protector. Um, and make sure you don't fry anything. It's very easy, don't let me trip. You don't have to be scared about building PCs. Very straightforward. Alright, what we're gonna do is uh, first find the power supply for the motherboard, attach that right in, and then the power supply for the CPU. And snap that on. Alright, on to the next one. Yeah, it's all good. Yes, make sure it's good. You don't want to come across any more problems and end up doing that stuff. But, all right, so now the CPU. Take this little bit off. And you wanna be careful because you wanna like bend the pins because bending the pins just cause more errors and that's just a pain in the ass. And then you're gonna slightly adjust that and now we're gonna put on the just generic cooler. You wanna put on the fancy thing guys because we don't have to worry about that. Uh, just we're trying to make sure that these things work at first. And then now the SATA cables for the hard drive. Snap that into number zero and power up the hard drive. There you go. And now add the GPU, the graphics card, and snap that baby in. There we go. All these cords, it's all confusing as shit, right? Nah, it's not that confusing. And now power up the uh, graphics card with the uh, PCI cables. There. Yeah. Now plug in your power supply to the power cord and flip on the switch. Bam. Plug in your keyboards and mouse. <laughs> and power that baby up. You live. Ha ha ha. All right, and now we're gonna install Windows 10. I think we're gonna install Windows 10. And it goes in, there we go. And then, now start the damn thing. It works! It works! All right, so next is this the simple part. It's really what we're doing now is putting the motherboard onto the casing. And yeah, it's, uh, it's <laughs> nothing complex. And now the power supply. And screwing the, sour screwing the sour power supply on and the fans. And now the uh, CD, <laughs> CD drive and the media drive, snapping on the case, screwing the case back on, and making sure all the USB cords and stuff like that are connected, and cable management, because this part is just kind of straightforward. You don't have to worry about too many things. Um, if you guys want more detailed videos, uh, you can check out my other video. And I'm going more details on how to put a piece together, but I hope this is kind of showing you like kind of like the fast version of how to put a piece together. Um, I'm hungry. I'll be able to eat after. <laughs> and then we continue finishing a PC here. And here we go. Um, you'll power it up. And it's all working. Everything seems good. No errors. It looks nice. Everything looks clean. It's kind of packed for the. Yeah, it was kind of hard to put in the. Um, the CPU cooler, but it's okay. It, it, it all fits. Nothing's like hanging on each other and stuff, so everything's fine. And there you go, Ryan. You have a complete PC. How awesome is that? And then we have this fan that just kind of hangs out. Not enough room to put two fans into the case, so we have one fan hanging out, and hopefully this Lugia can power up this fan. Oh, wow. It works. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Never knew a Luga can power up the fan. What up guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't able to stream today, but hopefully I'll hop on sometime later. Maybe you can stream, I don't know. Um, and we'll probably see more PC builds here and there in the near future because we're getting a new office and we're gonna build new PCs for the whole team. Not the whole team, probably just Casey. And uh, or maybe another gaming computer for the, uh, I guess the gaming channel. What up, Ken? Happy holidays for y'all. And hope you guys chill and have a wonderful New Year's. Let's kill it in 2016. Peace all around. Nice peace. Yeah.